As you can see, the lighting in my workshop isn't very good. So in this video, I'll show you how I took care of that, using a light fixture and a cheap plastic bulb. The bulb and the light fixture are pretty long together, so if I mount it like this, the reflector won't be very effective. And if I put the light bulb all the way in, it might be too much. So first, I have to do a short experiment in order to find the ideal position for the light bulb. I started by drilling a hole for the light bulb in the bottom of the bowl. But as soon as I started drilling, I could hear the bowl cracking. Just see on this bowl I used for testing how brittle the material is. So to overcome this problem, I used a hair dryer to heat up the bowl so I could drill through it without it cracking. Now that I had a hole in the bowl, I could cover it with some aluminum foil and find the ideal position for the light bulb. As you can see, with the light bulb almost out of the reflector, the angle of the light was very wide and the outline of the shadow was very clear. As I moved the light bulb into the bowl, the light became more focused and the shadow became a lot softer. Look at the shadow, do you see the difference? So this is where the light bulb should be. I'll now build something that will connect the light fixture to the bowl using this 2x4. I started by planing the wood, and then I hollowed out the space I needed for the light bulb and light fixture. Using the hole cutter and a spade bit worked just fine, but an even better way of making this hole would be using forced bits. I guess I was in the mood for some workout because I'm really not sure why I cut this with the hacksaw, but it came out alright. And after some sanding I could take the light fixture apart and see how it fits inside. And it actually fits. I could then use the same procedure of heating the bowl with the hair dryer to make a couple of holes for the mounting screws. I then used my homemade temporary drill press in order to guide the drill as I made the holes. And now it was the time to make the reflector... <laughs> reflector! I took aluminum foil and cut it into trapezoids so it fits into the bowl. I glued all the pieces, a bit overlapping, using some contact adhesive. And it actually came out better than I thought it would. I then sanded the exterior of the bowl as preparation for a few coats of black spray paint. I found that it sticks better this way. I finished off the reflector by protecting the ends of the aluminum foil with some electrical tape. It just looks better this way. I can now put all the parts together and see how it looks like for the first time. Looks great, doesn't it? I also experimented with different types of light fixture mounts, different ways of drilling the hole in the bowl. I ended up making three reflectors and built some arms to hold them. They came out pretty nice. Now let's check the difference these three lamps make. This is the light I originally had in the shop, and this is how it looks like together with the first one, the second one, and the third. Isn't that a huge difference? Till next time, thanks for watching!